Hi right, everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be opening up several Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars I've gotten from various stores over the past few weeks. So this first set of cars here, I don't have any in-store footage for these. Um, these three came from a local Target, and then this one came from Giant. This was literally the only Hot Wheels that I saw at my local Giant. They had like a whole middle section of like summer stuff, like pool noodles and balls and stuff like that. Um, this is the only car that was there. It was kind of shoved on like an end cap, sort of. Um, but it, it is a recent one. It's from uh, like the past year. But um, there was no dump-ins or anything like that there. Um, the shortage continues, I guess. Target, however, was actually pretty well stocked compared to when I went there the last time and I actually did have some in-store footage. There were several people in, in the aisle making like a lot of noise and just, you know, being generally in the way and stuff. So I didn't really uh, want to film. But a lot of the cars there were just fantasy cars. This Studebaker pickup's from a while back. I feel like it's been out for a few months now. I don't know what case it's from or um, anything like that. I forget how you're supposed to be able to tell on the backs of these things. But um, I was able to find this. They had this Dodge Charger there. And they had a few single matchboxes. They had those stupid um, speed trapper things and a few licensed cast things. This is the only casting that pretty much stuck out to me was the um, Land Rover here. A little bit smaller than I thought, but it still looks pretty cool in that kind of light blue. So we'll open up these cars here, and then hopefully for the next set of um, cars, you'll actually get some in-store footage. But here is the Bully Goat from the Art Cars series. has an N on the roof. That, would, that stuck out to me because, you know, N for Nick, obviously. <laughs> so we'll open this one up first. All right, there is the Bully Goat. Cool looking purple paint job. It says Bully Goat and kind of graffiti print on the sides, cool looking wheels. This is kind of like a modern interpretation of the Pontiac GTO, not like the 04 to 06 GTO that we actually got here, at least in the States, but looks looks like a pretty cool casting. I like the metallic purple on there too. Cool. All right, we'll look at the Target cars next. This one is the 63 Studebaker Champ pickup. This is not the Super Treasure Hunt version. Um, but still looks pretty cool. Nonetheless, if it was the Super, it would have rubber tires and I think more of a metallic paint job on it. But I still like this truck, though. You can find this also in various 9-packs and 10-packs, but I was able to find this one as a single model on the peg. Very pleased about that. It's a cool-looking truck, too. I like the detail on this. This is 63 on the side. You got some other Tampos. There's the front of it. Studebakers were kind of strange-looking vehicles when they were still made back in the day, but... This pickup, I think, looks pretty cool. Oh, you got a bed cover, too. Nice. See, there's the champ. Put that there. Next, we got another one of the art cars. This is the Dodge Charger, a 71 Dodge Charger. I actually don't have any 71 Chargers in Hot Wheels or Matchbox, for that matter. Plenty of 69s, but it was kind of cool to see um, this one here. This one has a Y on the roof. Add that to my alphabet of art cars, I guess. Looks pretty cool, kind of like a flat gray, and then you got the orange windows. Um, oh, you got two different wheel styles. You got orange ones in the front and white ones in the back. I thought that was an error for a second. Maybe it is, not really too sure. It's a 71 Dodge Charger on the side, almost like a Resto Mod looking car. Looks pretty cool. You either love or you hate the art cars. Depending on which art cars I, I like, I do get them, um, and I happen to like these two. Because although this one's a fantasy casting, it does look kind of like a real car. Last but not least, we got the lone matchbox from this uh, haul here. The Land Rover Defender 90 from 2020 in light blue. You can also find this in green. I'm not sure. I think the green might have a gray roof instead of a black roof. Not really too sure. But I always love the artwork on these matchbox um, cards. And you have the Land Rover logo up there. This is from the Adventures series. Let's get this one out. All right. There's the Defender. Kind of small. I know some people were kind of mad about that. Um, I happen to like this. It does look pretty cool. It is almost, it is almost too small. Though. I mean, look at how babyish it looks compared to the Studebaker Champ pickup. <laughs> I think it still looks pretty good in spite of its kind of smallish size. It does have pretty well detailed front, um, you know, paintwork and stuff with like the headlights and whatnot. That looks like a cool casting. Oh, not a whole lot of cars from two different stores, and not too much, and not really any in-store footage at all. But at least I found some stuff. So there's our four cars from today's haul, or from today's uh, shopping trip, I guess I should say. 
All right, I'm at Walmart for the first time in a hot minute. Um, yeah, they got Hot Wheels in stock. I don't know if there's anything really worthwhile getting today. All the five packs you could possibly want, of course. And actually, some of these 20 packs look fairly appealing. I just don't have the space to keep getting these giant multi-packs. All the same matchbox as nobody wants, but yet are always here. Here's the Stars and Stripes cars. Not too interested in these, unless they perhaps have the whole set. I don't think they have the whole set here. They definitely don't have the whole set. All right, well, I do like this Corvette, so we'll get that. working rigs thought maybe I'd find somebody's like hidden stash of cars somewhere but that seems to be a thing people hide people hide crap in these aisles and then you gotta find it it's like oh I'll be here next time I got here oh. okay all right actually here's the mystery models which ones come in this set, in this series, I should say. Oh, it's all, uh, it's all just fantasy cars. Yeah, I guess we'll just get a couple. Maybe I'll find things I don't have, or maybe I'll get things I don't already have, I should say. It's literally all just, uh, fantasy stuff here. I mean, I do, I do get fantasy stuff, but I just, I didn't really come here. Well, I came here today for other errands. I just happened to come by the car aisle and hope we actually had some good stuff to look at here. Yeah, this... I decided to end up not getting those like three cars. I figured it wasn't worth waiting in line, you know, to pay for three cars that I may or may not even actually want. Um, so I put them back. I'm actually going to be coming back here in like a week to pick up, you know, a new pair of glasses. So maybe at that point they'll have better stock. I have my doubts though, but um, we'll see if we can do some more, um, I guess, Hot Wheels hunting while I'm out and about. All right, we are back at Walmart again to pick up my glasses, so we'll see if there are any Hot Wheels. I highly doubt it, but we will take a look. All right, looks like it's pretty similar stuff from last time. As in literally everything here is like a fantasy casting, it seems like. Um, oh, look, somebody left their trash here. That's great. I do like this Glory Chaser. That's a nice, it looks like a real race car, but it's a fantasy cast thing, so we'll get that. Let's see, any five packs here that I could use? Probably not. All right, we're gonna get some mystery cars too. I haven't gotten those for a long time. We got these here. I'm trying to carry my glasses. What is this stuff? Beauty and the Beast. Never seen these before. These are interesting. Hmm. They did restock the matchbox, it looks like. Ooh. Bronco. Pushing some, some fantasy car no one probably wants. Ford, Ford, Jeep, Jeep. Yeah. 
36 Ford Coupe, that looks cool. was a success got my glasses and got 10 cars so we'll go ahead and open these up when we get home all right we got ourselves quite the haul from walmart which was actually pretty shocking to me because <laughs> i never seemed to have a whole lot there especially in the past couple of years i don't usually go to walmart um i was only there pretty much because i got those new uh, glasses and i thought you know what? i'll check out the hot wheels um, you saw that that first trip I took there, I didn't really find anything that I really wanted, but then they had restocked some of the Matchbox cars on that second trip I took there. And I decided to get some of the mystery cars as well. So we'll get started. I guess we'll begin with the middle pile here. We got two from the Stars and Stripes series, the 84 Firebird and the 84 Corvette. And then we have this um, Glory Chaser fantasy casting. We'll start with the uh, Glory Chaser. Get that opened up. Nice kind of mint green race car. Looks pretty cool. All right. 84 Firebird from the Stars and Stripes series. This is cool. It's got the T roofs on it, too, or the T top on it, too. Awesome, like the black. Looks great on there. Next we got the 84 Corvette. Get that out. In white. Looks really neat in white. Those gold wheels and stuff. Awesome. All right, we'll do these Matchboxes next. Finally found a uh, Bronco by Matchbox, 2021 Ford Bronco. I love the artwork on these cards, on the recent cards. They look really cool. There we go. Awesome looking blue Bronco. Love the paint on that. Nice detailing overall. Four-door version. Then we have the 93 Ford Explorer from Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. Awesome artwork on this card as well. Let's take it out. There we go. Wow, look at that. Awesome casting and awesome detailing. Kind of goes good with the uh, Bronco, too. Next, we have the 19 Jeep Renegade in blue. I'm trying to find this casting for a while. I think it was released before in like a light green. Get this one right next. Cool looking casting. I like the light blue. Nice wheels. You got the uh, clear roof on top there. It's got the badging on the back. Very cool. And then last for the matchboxes, we got the 36 Ford Coupe. Look at that artwork. Fantastic. That is a clean casting. Look at that. Metallic black. Looks so cool. Wow. And last but not least, we have three mystery cars. So we'll see what we got in these. Alright, got the tops torn open. Now we're gonna go and dump each one out, see what we got in here. What's this one? Ah, another mock speeder. I have two already in different colors, different wheels. This one's bright green. That looks cool. Got the sticker with it too. What we got here. What is this one? Formulator. Fantasy casting. 
cool looking blue though. I like that chrome base. Green wheels it looks like. It's a nice one. Let's see what we got in this one. And then, ooh, got three different ones. I'm glad for that. I thought I would maybe get like a repeat. F1 Racer in this interesting looking Spectra Flame Orange. Didn't know they made it in that. Wow. That's pretty cool. So these are all going to be variations of cars I already have, but I mean, these paint jobs look awesome, even for fantasy cast things. Fantastic. All right, here's the whole haul from Walmart. I'd say they're pretty good for a trip there. You got all these cool matchboxes in the back here. These three um, Hot Wheels main lines. And these three Hot Wheels mystery cars. I think I did pretty good here. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite car from this haul is. I'm very excited to have all these added to the collection. Thanks for watching.